Hi, I'm Velda's X, uh, and today I've got a little video on clip frames. You know, photo frames, which you buy, which are this clip type. Um, and what I'm going to use, well, what I was going to use there was a nail file. Um, and these lovely ladies were on here. They're all little nail files. You know, if you like Velda's X, you'll have uh, remnants of partners laying around here, there, and everywhere. Anyway, we'll discard them bits. And I like the look of that lot. You know, who wouldn't? So, but you'll see what I was going to do with that in a minute. And I'm not into defacing. Right, so here's our issue. These clips. Uh, funny old things. Uh, clip frames. You know, they're good in one way, but rubbish in another. Always think they, they could have been designed a little bit better. Anyway, we'll zoom in on this clip and uh, have a look a look at it. So, my issue, when you get these clips, um, you seem to have this cardboard, hardboard back in here, uh, with these punched holes, you know, and your clip, you know, so it's a preformed spring clip. I would imagine they all vary in quality, uh, as everything does. Uh, so you've got this, this punched out and formed clip, goes underneath the glass, that way round, obviously goes underneath the glass, goes up and pushes into there. Well, a lot of the time, you just can't get a good fixing. You know, for some reason, the die which, the punch and die which punched these holes out all around the frame was getting blunt or, or perhaps the density of this board is, is just not up to standard. Um, so what I tend to do is get your lovely nail file but this is a too wide, it's just that, that much too wide to go in there and I, you know, I'm going to do something else with them. Uh, I'm not going to cut that up, so I'm going to get a piece of abrasive paper and I'm going to fold that up and I'm going to clean all these edges up. Well, this edge here really is all that matters. This edge here closest to the frame, closest to the edge of the frame, I'm going to clean all that up and then I'm going to show you what I do. So I've I've got the disc of paper, but you might have something different. This is all I, you know, I've got I've got thousands of these discs. Bought a job lot once, so all I'm going to do is nip that in, and I'm going to keep I'm going to keep just cleaning these edges up. But before I've used a, you know, I've used a nail file, emery board, or whatever you want to call these things, a nice rough one. All your lovely ladies have them, and lovely ladies. Uh, they've all got them. Just go through their kit, or if you're brave enough, if you're brave enough to go through their kit, go through their kit. If you're brave enough, go through it. So anyway, if as you you know, if you can see these these other holes, they're all rough. They're all rough along this edge here. You know, even on this side, they just you know look at that. Just where is it? Oh, just rubbish at this. I need to improve. Um, look at. Let's have a look. Where's my thumb? There. Look at the condition of the edge of this. It's not how you want it. It really isn't. It's, we, we need that to be, you know, it's all peeling away. The, the density of this board is rubbish. So we want to just clean all that up. Clean it all, clean all that edge up. And I'm gonna go through all them and then I'll show you. Right, so I've done all them. Sanded, sanded around, well you, see, you should be able to see the patches. Sanded around each one of these little holes. All been sanded around. Cleaned them all in and out, they're all done. Right, what you need is some PVA glue. Any of this PVA glue will do. Because what we need to do, we need to seal up the edges of this fibre board. You know, it's just breaking away. Every time you put the clip on, it's, it's just breaking away. Don't want that. So, what I tend to do is get, get you a little drop of your glue. Oh, that's fucking far too much, but never mind. Get your glue. Get yourself a cotton bud or a brush or whatever you like, and we're gonna just we're gonna just put some glue around that. You know we don't really need none on this side, but because we're professionals, <laughs> we're gonna just we're gonna do it all around it. You know, so what we need to do is we need to get that in there, and we also need to get it on this edge in here because that's your main problem. You know, it's just breaking away. The fibres are all breaking away. We need to get that. Need to get that done. And, you 
know, we need to clean it all up as well because the issue you may have if you've got a very thin uh, photograph on there, the last thing you want is a load of glue highlighting glossy parts of a picture. It's just not required, is it really? So anyway, that's what I'm now going to do. I'm going to do it all, clean it all up, and then as that dry off a little bit, just make sure you know it's blended in. That's the idea. And there you have it. You know, got my cotton bud, been all the way around these. They're all they're all sealed now. Each one of these. This is this will be the back. Don't matter so much if we got you know raised areas here because that's not going to project through onto the picture. You know, again, if you've got a, bad, a big thick card, you're not going to have very much, you know, anything too thick because um, at the end of the day, it's a clip frame, and the clips aren't that, you know, you've only got so much movement with them. Again, if you've, if you've got anything on here, you know, because ain't that great, this piece, that's got floor in it. Um, if you've got, uh, you know, if you've got raised areas tomorrow when all this is perfectly dry, you know, you can always just get your get your sanding block on and just take any high spots off. And there you go. Now will seal these edges up and then when, when our clip actually clips into that, you know, when this clip here, this little old bevel piece, bites into that, that'll actually have something which isn't deforming. You know, you you we'll put the strength back into the we'll actually put the strength back into the into the fibre board. So I say got these little things raising off the floor this is the most important side um, so I'm going to leave that upright gravity will just make this glue you know these you can see little, little large bit there look. gravity will just make that make that uh, sink this side which is unimportant the main thing is all these edges facing there you can see this has been painted as well I don't know if you can notice that white because often with a clip frame you just get to see this ugly um, you know, it's an ugly fibre board, so so that's what it's all about, really. As I say, tomorrow morning that will be bone dry, and uh, we'll assemble it and see how well it fits. You know, while we're on the subject of clip frames and and uh, and what have you, hanging these sometimes, you know, you, if you've got a really large one of these, say a three foot one, um, I've always been a bit worried about the, you know, these clips. You know, by nature. By nature, these clips are intended to be removed. Um, so, what I've done on many occasions, if I've got something big I want to hang, I get these cheap Poundland clips. You know, you don't have to use this clip. Um, sometimes, it depends how close to the wall you want to get it, you may want to flatten this end here with a pair of pliers. And then you get your Tommy Walsh glue, your two part epoxy, you know, this, this epoxy glue and you mix that up and you set because obviously you don't really need to even do any measurement here you set this just to the side of that hole you know if, if I zoom out you'll see you know this is this is the second hole on the side down so you'd be then hanging your wire up and back to, to another clip on the opposite side over there you know this is what you'd be doing um, they don't need to be perfect um, because your wire will take up any discrepancies you know in your fixing of this bracket as long as you don't foul this clip as long as you don't foul that clip there you know it your wire will just come up and also you could get if you wanted you can glue one of these pieces here but you would have to measure that you know this piece here you'd have to do measure how long that is divide this in half measure across and you could set this underneath this clip. You see, you could set that under there, and then of course you can. That will be permanently glued to there. It is a fixed. It's a fixed point. You know, just like any other. If you were nailed to nail this into a, a wooden picture frame, you'd be fine. So I'm going to just, you know, mix up, mix up some glue in my old thing there, my old lid. Mix a drop of that up, and I'm going to glue them on. I'm going to glue them on there. You know, it only takes a few minutes and we'll get them set, uh, ready to go. Because um, this picture frame here is a foot by uh, uh, one foot six, you know, 12 by 18. So she's a fair old size uh, and that's what I'm going to do. So 
So as you can see, I mixed up a drop of the old glue. All you've got to do is just put plenty on in the areas. I measured that out, obviously, because this one's critical, because you're going to have to be in the centre. Well, you've got a little bit of adjustment. These ones here, it's not the sat, not as, nothing, not as important. Just get get a good old bit of glue and sink your sink your metal your metal fitting into the glue. Uh, you know the key to the key to this epoxy is you know the ratio. You know you've got to make sure you you know when you do the plunger on here, make sure your glue come out in equal amounts. Um, don't be stingy with it. You know it's, it's, this is pound land. You know it's pound land. Pound. You know, dollar. That's all it is. You don't be stingy with it. Get plenty on there. If you look at it, you know, when it's gone off, I ain't going to bother with this till tomorrow. I'll just sit there. Um, if you look at it tomorrow and think it's not right, you know it's not right. You know, take it off and do it again. Um, you know, we could do a little tension test on these, but, you know, I've, I've done hundreds of these and uh, I have no problem with them. You know, you can do them however you like. You can get the um, bell shaped ones and put them out the side here. This glue is incredible stuff. Um, a lot of people don't like, just don't like hanging them on this clip, you know, for the simple reason that it, it will come off. You know, it, it can come off. Heavy weighted pitcher, you know, especially if it's uh, glass in there, not perspex. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Um, and tomorrow I'll show you how I sometimes use a, a shoelace and, and interlace between these and so we can hang up here. You know, I'll show you that tomorrow when this has gone off and we... Uh, we assemble this picture. You get one sound, do you? So, back to the clip frame. Um, overnight, let me let this dry off. What I've done here is I just, uh, I just got myself a tinner. Well, it's radiating ammo. I just dusted round. You know, it's a backing plate for the picture I'm going to put on there for demonstration purposes. You know, that's all gone off overnight. Put that to one side. So here we have our our board. You can see the darkened patches. You know where the glue was. I've just gone over any high spots because I'm putting this nice soft surface. Well, this I think this is a bit of substandard hardboard. I'm putting the soft surface against the picture and the rough surface I've used for the back of the frame. So all my clips are glued on. I've glued all them on. You can see all the areas here. It's lovely and tight. So what I'll do now is uh, we'll just assemble this picture ready for, for hanging. So, we've got our frame, we've got our back and piece. I'll just get the picture, what I'm going to put in there. I got a picture of Sally from the Laid collection on Google. <coughs> so, all we need to do is get her centred up. 61. Get our piece of glass because there actually is glass in here. That's not our actual plexiglass or anything like that. And I've cleaned all that this morning with, with some cleaner. So there she is, all done. Now we can flip her over. And now we should find our clips. Our clips will fit 
and clip in there just just nice. Without because sometimes you have to modify these clips. You know, they just aren't formed correctly. And they're not doing the job how you want them to do it. But you should they should all just snap in. You know, with with this particular piece of hardboard, it just isn't very good quality. And uh, as I say, I needed that glue to just form the edge there so it's not rocking up as such. See, some of these just clip in just grand. Perfect. And there she is. Sword. Right, I'm just going to get a, a reel of wire and we'll we'll make a, a picture hanging wire up. So I've got some picture hanging wire here. You know, you get this stuff from your hardware store or somewhere where John Travolta used to work in in Saturday Night Fever. And all you've got to do just take it and create a little hanging wire. So I'm going to run that up to there. I'm going to run that back to there. It's just going to be just a little bit shorter than that. Get yourself some good cutters. Always better to have more. Don't want to be sure of it. Now, if you're a bit fussy about the way the frame is sitting off against the wall, you know, these little clips here, they can all be reduced down. You can get the pliers and just bend them in a bit. As I say, a lot of people worry about whether the clip frame is going to fly to pieces well with this glue and everything on here it just shouldn't happen um, and again if you've got if you've got one of these type brackets can we see that if you've got one of them type brackets you may and again you know it just isn't going to depending on the on the actual clip you're hanging to the wall you know that would just be far too far wrong angle you know just just wouldn't have it so you need to compress this down you know that piece there you're only going to get to the height of that but you need to compress that down you know so you're going to lie a bit tighter to the wall and these are all things you have to do and I'll tell you one of my tips I can't even see it now is having a really small hammer you know I use a hammer for pit putting picture frames up on the wall I use like a little toffee hammer you know it's very small you can you can work you know it's, it's perfect Right, so I'll pause that and then I'll show you my fake wall. So I made up a little bit of fake fake wall here. It's an old bit of, bit of furniture what I cut up the other day for a pack and crate. I just nailed a little small a small clip on there. So we'll just hang we'll hang old Sally up and see what she looked like. I'm hanging her on the actual wire. So we just get some adjustment there. And voila, there she is. Bit of light on the subject. Beautiful. And that's all you need to do. If you get one of these cheap frames, you know, or your, your frame, the, the clips keep pinging off. As I say, just, just get some PVA glue, seal up around them edges, you know, reform your clips. Because as I say, a lot of people worry about the, the um, clips falling to pieces and the picture falling down and glass and children and all these other things you know 
you know you have got to, you know you have got to think about it you know picture framing is a bit of an art you know I certainly enjoy it got plenty of pictures up all around the place all in the old office everywhere um, but I'll just show you another thing right quick about how I sometimes hang you know do the I sometimes hang them like this I just take sales down Let me put it that way round you know if you're a person who let's have a look can we see that yeah if you're a person who's again worried about hanging it on one clip because obviously if you if you've got this picture frame they are glass some of them are plastic or you've got a picture of your value you're going to put you're going to put a bracket you're going to put your little clip inside a nail or you know you're going to have a nail or something like that you're going to hang it via that piece there well all that's holding that on is is literally that piece of spring clip inside this inside this hardboard this is a quality one this so if you do it this way you've got tension you've got tension pulling them in i know that's pulling it up as well and then i've looped this wire go underneath that side of the clip and round and that wire comes around there and so it, it, it hangs it and you could also put one from down there and, and that all be framed but as I say you, you know you, there's all sorts of things you can do you know the trouble is you can't screw eyes in these but you could glue blocks of wood on you could do whatever you like you, you know there's loads of things you could glue the ones which come out the side and then screw it lots of things but as I say that's an alternative way of of looping your wire on you know that's just a, something I've done at college and away you go she hangs nice no, it's not not a bad thing. It's kind of centralised. You get you get what I'm saying, don't you? Anyway, if you watched, thanks for watching. Uh, you know, leave me a comment, and we go from there. Thanks.